This is Kent, Washington. Like many communities, Kent grappled with gentrification and the struggles of immigrant families. Finding affordable housing, accessing healthy food, and ensuring children's success in a new education system were challenges community members face daily. We have seen the inequality and injustice um, that exists here and abroad, both for uh, people that look like us. Founded in 2014, with the aim of improving the community's overall well-being, Living Well Kent provides a wide range of programs, including youth empowerment, health and wellness, food access, and early learning. The reason we started is we noticed that a lot of our community has been gentrified. The resources are not here to um, get ho better housing, um, food, insecurity was high. And so, a community needs assessment was born. The reason that we did the community need assessment is because um, we didn't want to come to, even though it's our community, people look like us, we didn't want to come to the community and say, this is how you better yourself. We wanted to ask community members that live in Kent, what would you like us to do? These initiatives came from the need from the community Creating a multifaceted approach to building a better future was essential. The need assessment show number one, that community of blacks and brown and uh, other people of color are food insecure. So number one, our highest number was food insecurity. Food insecurity led to the inception of Living Well Kent's food access program. As of now, our food hub, we serve 80 families per week and we are growing. Sometimes we have 100, 120 people every week. We started 2020, our food hub, and we've been serving the community every Thursday at the same time in our food hub. It became a cornerstone of its mission, serving over 100,000 pounds of food annually. Our Horseneck Farm, we gave this year eight farmers each quarter of an acre. Some of the farmers that are are more skilled, we give them one acre farm. And combined, they grow 100,000 pounds of produce that either they sell or they give it to the community. This greenhouse was an abandoned structure that was transformed into a thriving hub for the community to grow fresh healthy produce. Before we acquired it, it was actually uh, abandoned for about 10 years. Um, so when we first came, there was the ceiling was missing. Um, there was a lot of pests, bugs, everything, uh, random storage around. So um, we worked really diligently as a team to be able to fix it back up so that it's functional. A vision to nourish the community's body and soul. The biggest thing I've seen is the community being able to grow and eat crops that remind them of back home. And I think that's the biggest impact that we've had here. Harvesting success hand in hand with the community. What we're doing is showing the community that they can be loved. This is a joint effort between us. It's not only with us Living Well Kent, it's with the community members that we work with that come and farm here. It's with the other organizations that we work with, it's different people that we work with that are all coming together to elevate us as a society. There was another problem, the struggle for immigrant parents to navigate the education system. The education system here is not set up for, for kids themselves to, to, to go through the education system and graduate. Parents are a big uh, part of the kids' success, but that was missing in the community of immigrants. So what we started was, was educating parents about how they can be advocate for their children to, to graduate. So that's, that's something that was missing in, in, in the community. Despite encountering numerous challenges in the early days, Living Well Kent overcame them with dedication, resilience, and the strong leadership. All the programs we started, we started by community, asking the community. So we call those community-led programs. Their aim is now clear to be the lighthouse of hope for all community members, and to keep growing their programs and services. There's always need for additional spacing. Um, land ownership and being able to utilize the land is the biggest profit that can come for community. Um, right now, 
as good as our like greenhouse looks, um, there's definitely things that we can improve on. We can expand it. It's half an acre right now. We're trying to expand it to more. Um, we've done so much with the half acre that we have that um, even if we had like another acre, it would benefit the community tremendously. With Living Well Kent, the story of resilience, hope, and community transformation continues. It's a story that's far from over. It takes a village to raise a child. So it takes all of us to, make our, to, to support our community. It takes all of us to raise our community. We always want to do, um, see community that everybody thrives. So if, if, your, um, if your mission in life is to, to have everybody, regardless of their color, regardless of their income, religion, you want to see everybody thrive, then Living Well Kent is a place that does holistic work that core belief is all of us thrive. Join them on this journey, because together, we make Kent healthier, happier, and whole. Living Well Kent, your community, your health, your future.